What's going on guys, ChillSFM here taking a look at the Denny in the Open Great League. Guys, the Denny's been out for a while and I've never made a feature on it because I just didn't think it had that much play in the past. I tried it out a few times and just never had a lot of luck with it. But there's something different about the current meta. There is so many teams that are double and sometimes even triple weak to this Pokemon. I mean, I'm seeing things like Noctowl Metacham Sableye, Noctowl uh, Spark Lantern Sableye, Pelipers are everywhere. Reggie still is very common and granted, Dedenne is somewhat neutral against it in the ones. It does win in the twos without taking hardly any damage. So this thing, could put in a lot of work. At least I thought it would. So I played it for two sets today. The second set, I went 5-0. So that's what y'all get to see today is that 5-0 set. I had a lot of fun with this team. I'm probably actually going to run it a little bit more tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll make some shorts out of those battles if it does go well as well. So, uh, do I think Dedenne is the greatest Pokemon? No, because it does get walled by Galarian Stunfisk, and its damage output is just not what you want it to be. Thunder shocking stuff down is very difficult to do. Uh, however, I do think this is probably the, me the best meta that we have ever seen for Dedenne. So if you like this Pokemon, run it now. Run it now and try it on this team, actually. And don't don't put Scraft in the lead. The very the first set, I put Scraft in the lead. Uh, and th that's why I struggled a lot in the first set. The second set, I put Glyscore in the lead. And, and there we go. Boom. Bye -bye. So we're going to jump into some of these battles. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. We do have the Alolan Ninetales here. They did shield up my Discharge. So this could be the big move. I am going to go ahead and respect it. it. Just ends up being a Weather Ball. And they're not actually able to get the second Weather Ball off. So beautiful. Out comes Registeel. We can survive any one move from Registeel. Everything is resisted, right? Except for Hyper Beam. And if they're running Hyper Beam Registeel, then they deserve this win. But they do top left. So GG's. Well played to my opponent. All right, into the next one, Gliscor into a Bastiodon lead. So this is a good lead for Gliscor. However, we do need to be cautious that there could be a grass type in the back. I wasn't really thinking about that when I was playing this battle in particularly. Uh, so I make some iffy plays, right? Here comes the Stone Edge. If there's a grass in the back, I need to shield up my Gliscor. Just that's how it is. I don't shield it. So. After I ate the Stone Edge, I do start thinking about what if there's a Grass type. I build up to another Quake and I come in with my Lantern. And yes, we do lure out a Trevenant. Thank goodness we kept a little HP on Gliscor and some energy on Gliscor because we're going to need it to take out this Trevenant. I am running Water Gun on my Lantern and I'm going to be throwing the Thunderbolt to do some nice resist damage. But at least it does a chunk versus the Surf that does basically nothing. Um, interestingly, they do have to throw a second time, otherwise they get to this next Surf, and it would be enough to take them out. And I want to burn their shields at this point. Uh, my plan here was to get this Surf off to grab a shield and then pivot into Gliscor to quickly get off that Night Slash before they make it to their next Seed Bomb. But unfortunately, they do get the farm down, which means I'm going to have to invest my second shield just to get their Night Slash, or just to get the Night Slash off, rather. So, I come in with Gliscor. I am going to go ahead and throw up a shield right here. It's going to be pretty tough to Thundershock down this Trevenant, even from this HP. So I think it's a worthwhile shield. And we are going to get the Night Slash off. That's going to be taking out the Trevenant. We have a Night Slash banked, and it's going to be a Metacham in the back. So out comes Dedenne. We have Play Rough. Play Rough is going to nearly one-shot a Metacham. However, they are going to be able to hit us for neutral with the Psychics and the Ice Punches. So Psychic. Puts me very low. Dedenne, not the bulkiest Pokemon, but Play Rough puts them deep into the red. And now I can throw on CMP. This will be threatening the final shield off my Pokemon. All they have left is this Pokemon and a very low health Bastiodon. So yes, we do grab the shield right there. Beautiful. Ice Punch is going to come through right here. I still have a Nice Slash on my Gliscor. So when they swap out into the Bastiodon, we're just going to get this Nice Slash off and it's going to be enough to take them out. So hopefully um, one wing attack is enough for the Metacham. And yes, it is. So GG's well played. I actually think that my opponent could have won if they didn't shield that discharge into their Metacham and just save the shield for Bastiodon. I think they could have just smack down me all the way down. But uh, regardless, GG's. All right, into the next one up against Lantern. They are running Spark, so I will be staying in this matchup. If they were running Water Gun, I would likely pivot into my own Lantern. Um, but Spark's not too bad for Gliscor. We can one-shot with the Earthquake, or nearly one-shot. Puts them very low. 
Uh, so this is winnable if we can land the earthquake. However, my opponent makes a nasty, I mean nasty, nasty catch onto a knockdown. That's all right, though. If they can catch, I can catch two. We're going to go ahead and catch the sky attack on my lantern. It will be hitting for resisted. And I'll be farming up quite a bit of energy here. I don't really care if I eat a shadow ball. I could throw that surf, but surf's not going to be lethal anyways. They're going to know it's a surf, so there's really no reason to. Now I can over farm quite a bit and leave with some energy on my lantern. So I do throw here. I've done one more water gun technically, but it's one water gun, right? We're going to be all right. So surf takes out the knock towel. We're going to be able to reach this thunderbolt before my opponent throws their energy. This will hit for neutral. It does do some nice damage, less than 50% though, maybe 40, 45%. Uh, but regardless, my opponent does have to throw. Otherwise, I would make it to another move. So they're going to be throwing the Surf here. It is enough to take out my Lantern. And I know they have another Surf ready to go. And I know my Gliscor can't take it. So I'm going to come in with the Denny instead. Go ahead and soak up some energy. The Marks are going to be resisted from this Lantern. They're going to be doing absolutely no damage. And I will be getting to these discharges very quickly. I will go ahead and shield up the next surf. I didn't want to throw immediately in case they went for a catch. I over farm. And there's the second catch. My phone is nasty with the catches. I'm telling y'all. So now I can't just go like. Before one playoff would have nearly one shot the. Um, they like, I go for the play rough regardless here. Because I thought maybe they wouldn't shield. Knowing they'd survive a discharge. They do shield. Uh, so a little unfortunate. But it's kind of fine as well because I can throw up a shield here I'm going to be building back up to the player off I'm going to come in with Gliscor and just get off this earthquake so earthquake will be taking out the stable eye unless they use their final shield and they don't use their final shield so beautiful out comes the lantern they have to throw immediately otherwise I make it to this night slash and this night slash will be threatening the final shield or KOing uh, so at that point the game is in the bag they're going to be throwing a surf no big deal because we have a play rough ready to go with Denny. I mean, discharge obviously would have been enough. I uh, probably didn't need to over farm like I did, but it worked out in my favor anyways. We're going to land the play rough and that's going to be GG's well play to my opponent. All right. Don't know what happened at the beginning of this battle, but it was a Bastiodon on the lead. So we do decide to stay in and we're going to be playing it a little bit differently this time. Still going straight for the earthquake. No reason to bait here. This time I'm going to go ahead and protect my glass score. I want to keep a little bit of health on this thing for the potential Trevenant or Victory Bell in the back. Instead, we see a Tropius. Now, if there's a Vic in the back, Shadow Vic, the game's just over. Like, we just have no chance. Uh, but with just the Tropius, we still have some play. So we're going to chip away with the Night Slash, get a few wing attacks in there, come in with Dedenne, and I do need to give up my second shield here. Again, Dedenne is just not very bulky. We really can't tank the Leaf Blade. I use both shields and a lot of these grass hole players like keeping alignment. I thought I would grab a shield back. So I go for the bait with the discharge. Unfortunately, they no shield. So they really took them out with the uh, play rough, but they are going to use the, use the first shield right here. So now they're going to be able to take me out with the leaf blade. I should be able to farm down from this point with Gliscor and leave with a bunch of energy. Uh, so that's my play right here. Going for the farm down. They come out with a Bastion trying to get me to dump some energy. However, I am able to pivot into my lantern. Get the water gun down. They're going to be coming back in with the Tropius. Trying to get me to throw some energy, but no, no, no. We're not falling for that. We're not falling for it. Out comes Metacham. We're going to continue to farm up and then just go for the Surf. Really, I just need to grab a shield at some point and get some chip damage. Because remember, I have an Earthquake banked on my Gliscor. So... Grab a shield with the first surf. The second surf will be putting them into earthquake range or very, very close at very least. Uh, they can't really tank any more water guns. And Psychic comes through. No big deal. Nearly takes me out. One more counter does it. We got the quake. We're good to go. Uh, so that's going to be GG's well played to my opponent. Um, Dedenne didn't do a whole lot there. I will admit Dedenne didn't help a lot. Um, but at least it could do, at least it could fight back against um tropius right uh, lantern can't do that so if you're comparing water types there you go <laughs> all right my opponent runs some spice in this final battle 
Hitmon Top, one of my favorite Pokemon, and still is honestly one of the most underutilized Pokemon in the Open Great League. Just hard to build a team around, um, but it does have a really good moveset and a really nice bulk. We do grab a shield with the Earthquake, and now I'm going to be coming out with my Lantern. My opponent is farming up a lot of energy, telling me they likely have Earthquake on their Steelix. I'm going to throw this Surf, forcing them to shield if they want to get the Quake off. They no shield. We're going to be able to take out the Steelix. So, if on top comes back in, we do have some residual energy. I'm going to be going straight for the Thunderbolt. To be clear, Thunderbolt is slightly more energy efficient than Surf. Not a lot, uh, but I didn't think they would go down two shields, so I might as well go for the harder hitting move. So almost take them out. They will be throwing a close combat here. Which definitely takes out my lantern. At this point, I can just come in, Thundershock down. If this is a Stone Edge, it's going to do like 50% to Dedenne. It wouldn't be too terrible. It's going to be a close combat instead. And it's going to be a Mew in the back. And at this point, I could just pivot into Gliscor. Easy wins, but this is a Dedenne feature. I wanted to see how much the play rough did. And it does a lot. It puts them nearly into the red. At this point, Gliscor can come in. We should be able to two shield and just wing attack everything down. Like everything remaining um so we're gonna shoot up the first surf no big deal we're gonna shoot up the second surf no big deal they need five more shadow claws to get to the next surf at that point we're easily going to be able to wing attack down all they have left is this him on top and that's going to be ggs well played to my opponent so again don't think that is the best pokemon out there but right now the meta is very kind to it so if you like the pokemon try it out let me know what you thought in the comments down below leave a like on the video as well thank you all so much for watching and thank you to my channel members for your support until next time this is joseph reminding you to always keep pushing forward